Hey guys, the general overseer of Champion Royal Assembly has said that Nigeria is a country is about to fall. With all the things that is happening right now, is the indication that this country will soon fall. But he said, unless Nigeria apologized to Indigo. He said Nigeria will never know peace as a nation. That what is happening right now is spiritual. He also asked questions like, since after the, the Biafra war, what has changed? He said the Indigo has been deprived of so many things. They have been marginalized since after the civil war. And God has heard their prayers. This is not what the government of Nigeria will just sweep you know, under the carpet like nothing happened that they have to go back to the root of the problem in Nigeria. Apologize to Indigo, you understand, for what happened to them or what they did to them during the civil war. He said this is the only way Nigeria as a country, you know, we know peace. Don't also forget that the, the Southeasterners, you know, in the Southeast, the Biafra agitators, they've been agitating for their own nation led by their leader, uh, the Nandikano, who is now in the DSS uh, uh, detention for declaring Biafra nation in the Southeast. What are they agitating for? The same marginalization. He, so, he also talked about, you know, giving Indigo the privilege to become a president in Nigeria. Let them feel that part of becoming or being in Nigeria. You understand? Let them feel the part of being a Nigerian. See, because with what is going on, Indigo is being neglected as if they are not Nigerians and everything. My people, Nigerians have reacted to this. So you understand? Because he actually analyzed what is going on in Nigeria and where we are heading to. He said Nigeria is about to fall. Unless they apologize to Indigo, since uh, after the Biafra war, he said nothing has happened. But this was against the Indigo, the suffer and everything they went through. That the government did not ap apologize to them. They just look at it like nothing happened and all that. And everybody moved on. You know, say for life, when you do person something, you just like, you don't do. And you don't really hate you know, the root of that problem, that person will hardly forgive you. Even when, oh, normal, it will look like everything is normal. But inside of you, you know that you have not really forgiven that person. Is that what he's trying to say? That the Igbos are angry and the way they are being treated in Nigeria and all that. The general overseer uh, of Champions Royal Assembly, Professor Joshua Gila, has, it, has described Nigeria as a union in which one region, the Igbo, is suffering and not allowed to practice or to produce the president. Don't also forget what happened during 2023 presidential election. You will hear some regions saying Igbo man cannot be president in Nigeria. Why? No reason. Oh, some people can as well say, ah, if an Igbo man becomes a president in Nigeria, that means they will turn Nigeria to be a free republic. They, I, okay, let me call him, like uh, the former minister of aviation, uh, uh, Femi Fanikayo, he said it. Some Northerners, they also said it. But last, last, now they still come talk, say, oh, the Igbos, they saw what happened, though. But oh, it was just like uh, propaganda everywhere. Uh, if Peter B becomes president of Nigeria, he will turn Nigeria to Biafra nation. Okay, look at what is happening. We would have, you know, allowed the Anigbo man to become a president. That was their, or that is their regret. You understand? So you see, as a country, if everybody wants to be happy, just like what Pastor Gila is saying, you know, let's bring all the regions together. If we are still sure of the one Nigeria we are claiming. According to the clergyman, he says Southeast has been deprived, which has caused unity and uh, which has caused this unity and inequality in the country. Nothing. 
that noting that it is the turn uh, of the region to produce the next president if they allow them. You understand? If they allow them. In a sign monitored by ABN TV, he insisted that Nigeria cannot be preaching unity and love and the practicing it against the Igbos, adding that it has fueled separatist agitation which the country faces at the moment. He queried why not and Yoruba will continue to be in power while the Igbo is told they are not trusted. He said let them, the presidential, let them have that seat. Okay, whether they are in unity or not in unity. Give them the opportunity to prove themselves first. You wonder why the Igbo are being kept in the union if they are not trusted. The cleric called on the church to begin to get involved in politics so instead of watching from the sideline. He said, politics is not only spiritual, but physical. Okay, stating that Christians will, will make the difference in the country, in the country's governance, if, you know, they showed up in this. So guys, when I don't hear the matter now, na Prophet Igila, na itokam, he say make the government, Nigerian government, apologize to Igbos, and as well give them the opportunity to rule Nigeria, because they are part of this country. You understand? You cannot say we are one Nigeria and we are not practicing unity. There is nothing like oneness. There's nothing, there's nothing like togetherness, inclusiveness. That is what is preaching. Let there be unity. Let everybody feel the impact of being in Nigeria. I think it's making sense. It's making sense. Well, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.